What about Cog though? You know what? I feel like we should talk about Cog a little bit. Um, Go ahead. Have you seen him recently? I saw him spurging out about uh, the stream you did with Elaine, and I was on that stream, and I thought it was really good. Uh, but uh, he was spurging out about that. You know, you only have to talk about him a little bit, uh, and he's very autistic, and he'll just lose his mind about anything you say. Well, I mean, where I knew that they'd broken Cog, you know when he live-streamed his completely filthy hovel, this council flat that he was leaving? He live-streamed that willingly. He showed us around and he said, you know, look at all the black mold on the wall. Look at all of the shit stains in the carpet. Look at how I don't flush the toilet. Look at me on a camping stove. He live streamed that. When someone picked that up and started saying, well, wait a second, Cog, this is you living in squalor. The amount of spurgery that that generated, the amount of rage that that big, you can watch clips everywhere of him just raging at that. How dare you do this? Well, wait a second, Cog, you were the first, you were the only person that did that. Anyone providing commentary over that is just commenting on your buffoonery as ever so i mean that's when you know that cog sort of lost it um i guess he's gonna do a uh, him and dan yeah. are gonna go into the wilderness which i imagine is his like back garden or <laughs> and camp out for a night based on like they're gonna buy things for 12 pounds from Poundland. so 12 items <laughs> they're gonna buy and they're gonna survive the night in the wilderness um so yeah. that's what's happening in Cog World, Ralph. Yeah, wow. Well, I can't wait for that one. Actually, I'm probably going to watch that <laughs> one just for the cred. <laughs> He's going to go pitch a tent in his backyard there in the gypsy camp that he fucking lives in or wherever the fuck he is. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. I, I, I do think he's kind of... I mean, what I'd like to see him ahead. and Dan do is walk down the M1 and see if they can survive <laughs> that. That would be nice. Uh, yeah. I, um, I t he's always been a complete Spurg. But as time has went he's on... He's always been the... The yeah. thing is with Cog, no matter what arc we've ever been in, Cog's always been Cog. The absolute bottom of the litter, easiest dog in the sector. That's true. Uh, and he blames me because there was a time there around Knoxville... Um, when we were all going on his show and he had his show up to like 800 to a thousand people live, but it was based on people like me going on. Worski actually went on there and some other people, it, you know, it's kind of an in-between, uh, between the good shows basically, uh, that came on yeah. later in the day. And, you know, he was so autistic and such a Spurg and such a just weirdo. People stopped going on his show and started attacking him instead. And now he's down to his hundred viewers and so well, he's just terrible ralph there's no entertainment value in cog you're just watching a man die that's basically what we're doing we're watching a man live off the government and just die well that's well, i mean great entertainment well that's another thing and he, he was bragging about, about making 40 grand a year look if my salary went down to 40 grand a year i would be like graph looking for a job <laughs> right like uh, yeah you know it's tough like I, well i hope I, cog is making 40 grand a year and i hope he's declaring it to his benefit system yeah, we that know keeps that him again. alive and supplements his income because I'm sure they'd have something to say about 40 grand a year con. Yeah, we know that ain't happening. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm sure he has all ways around that. By the way, I sent you this link. So there's two okay. videos on this, by the way. So click the Kino Shea one first, and then I'll, we'll play the one on top of it. But click the 55 second ones, uh, this 55 second one first, uh, and let me know when you have it pulled up, and I'll play that, and then we'll play the other one. I haven't seen these yet. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, 55 second ones. So yeah. three. Oh, hang on. One you second. can count it down, yeah. Uh, one sec. Sure. The Kino dog. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'll just filibuster while I load the link. But Cog is just the easiest joke in the sector. I don't think Cog has ever had a moment where he's reigned supreme or had any sort of validation. I mean, I remember when he was just like a, an orbiter on the Kumite. Me too. And even then he was seen as a joke. Well, any opportunity or any good run he has, he always squanders it. Uh, and it's because he's cog. <laughs> yeah. He really can't All right. himself. So three. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, count us in, Ralph. Okay. Three, two, one, go. It is very normal. It's very normal to buy what's called in chat. and see. It's a novelty mug. What the fuck? People get that? these in Stormtroopers, Darth Vader's. I like Alice in Wonderland because I like yeah. Alice in Wonderland themes in pretty much everything I've enjoyed. Like I like the right. Matrix as well. I think I've told you guys this, right? A lot of Alice in Wonderland themes in that sort of stuff. I think I've watched all of the movies. We have oh, look, we have Alice some of the figurines <laughs> from a lot of the movies still in box and stuff like that. So, uh, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, that's going to be clipped. No, about? oh my god, he's got he's got figurines of the Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, of course I do. 
It's fucking Alice in Wonderland. We've got a bunch of fucking uh, sets and stuff that we're waiting on. So, like, we've got a load of stuff here as well. And I've got a load of stuff in the kitchen. Teapots, cups, all sorts of stuff. Not, ju not just this. No, no, no. we got a, we got complete tea sets. I've got, a, I think I've got a three TS thingy so you can put sandwiches on. At a certain oh. point, we'll do a tea, we'll, we'll have a tea party. I'll end up doing a tea party with you guys as a show. Okay, a tea party. Yeah, hosted Cogs by Cog. tea party. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm sure you've been to a tea party uh, there, there in Britain. <laughs> what would you do if you had to roll up to Cog's tea party? <laughs> Cog's tea party. Dorito sandwiches, yes. um, iron brew, <laughs> just fucking cockroaches and rats. Yeah, uh, tea party. Uh, That's kind of weirdly eccentric, though, isn't it? That he's yes. autistic about Alice in Wonderland. I you never know, had Cog down as someone like that. Me either. I was going to ask you how much Alice in Wonderland merch do you have? I don't have any. Uh, I, I don't know that. I, that's... I can't say I have any, but that, I mean that's like a weirdly eccentric <laughs> thing to do. Maybe he sees himself as like the Mad Hatter or something. I don't know. It's really strange. You don't think there'll be any egg and cress uh, sandwiches there at Cog's Tea Party, uh, do you? Uh, <laughs> like rat and cheese uh, there. I imagine there will be some sort of egg and cress, but he'll scavenge the eggs from the pigeons that uh, fucking <laughs> sit on his roof and shit like that. Uh, Cress will just be the weeds he scrabbles from the outside. Uh, I've actually been to Yeah, biz party. that's bizarre. That's weirdly eccentric of Cog to be into uh, Alice in Wonderland. Very strange. All right, so should we do the second? Yeah, clip? let's go ahead and pull that one up, and I'll pull it up. Handsome Crayon for five oh. in the Rumble Rant section uh, of the Super Chat, and he says, Good morning, Ralph. Cog's house is like the dystopian house in Willy Wonka. It kind of is. Uh, and again, he willingly uploaded that footage. That wasn't uh, like hidden camera. Nobody broke in. He's was... He was proud of it as well. He was proud of the black mold and he even said, you know, I'm not even going to clear up the black mold. Uh, I'm going to sue the government so they clear it up. Like, Cog, it's your responsibility to leave that place as you found it and not as fucking filthy hovel that you've left it in. Well, imagine, That's Cog. you know, imagine that... Um... You said it on your video, like some single mom or, or whatever, whoever has the house next, they come in and it's all just like completely fucked, completely trashed. There's black mold everywhere, piss stains in the toilet, you know, br br broken cardboard Star Wars toys on the ground and all that. <laughs> and, that. and like he's laughing about it. And, you know, most people, you, you know, know, imagine have if have Alice shame. in Wonderland went into that cog, you know, what would she think? What would she say? <laughs> That makes me think of uh, movie Bob. What would Mario say? What would Mario say about this? Um, <laughs> but uh, all right, here goes another super chat. Thank you for that. Hi, Ralph. This is very important. Please listen to me. Emergency OMG 911. You're right about that. Uh, the Rumble the link on yeah. still redirects I'll reach to the back old for that one. I reached way back for that one. I'll fix that on the website. You're right. Punished Far 4 sent $3. How many Frey Bentos tins do you think are in Cog's back garden? Now, that's a reference that I don't get, but maybe Godwinson will. Uh, let me pull it up. He says, how many Frey Bentos tins do you think are in Cog's back garden? Oh, I imagine. Uh, so Frey Bentos, like, pies are, like, tinned pies that I imagine Cog's got a lot of because he buys them on, like, two-for-one offers preparing for the end of days, and they're going to feed him when he's, like, run out of cockroaches and rats to feast upon. So I imagine uh, he's got quite a few of the chicken and mushroom Frey Bentos pies. Also, he talks a lot about this chili. I still haven't seen the chili uh, that he made, but I keep hearing him talk about it. And I saw some of his DMs where he was trying to gather money. He said it was 9 million IBU or something, which is, I guess, the heat. I think it's IBU. But that's like the heat index uh, of the chili. I hope it was 9 million IBU because that would have killed him, wouldn't it? <laughs> that's what I thought. I was like, can you even eat that? I Won't that fucking kill you? Uh, but yeah, he should continue uh, on those sorts of uh, I'm pretty sure he didn't make dishes. it. I'm pretty sure he just got it out of a packet and just put it in the microwave. I'm pretty sure that's how Cog makes all of his food. <laughs> what about the, what was it, the sausages wrapped in pastrami with mayo and ketchup put on them? I've never had that delicacy Holy shit. myself. But, uh... Holy shit. Delicacy, that's rich. <laughs> <laughs> that's a stretch. All right, we got to pull up. the kind of guy that has an all-day breakfast out of a can. That's oh. the kind of guy Cog is. Oh, just uh, terrible. All right, now we have it pulled up. You, you ready? All right, yeah. All right, we'll go. Three. Th go ahead, you count it down. Two. Okay, three, two, one, now. Nah. There we go. It doesn't even say goblet. He keeps calling it a, this is a pedo goblet. Pedo goblet. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> I, because, because assertion. I mean, that is the mad hat. It's, a, it's, it's Disney hat. cog. I, I know. I, I, how long do you think Disney's been around? Alice in Wonderland, I'm pretty sure, came out before I was born. I wonder where he got that Disney merch. Oh, oh. It obviously groomed me into buying the mug. 
Damn, God, Caesar got me again, Harko. Caesar in the comments talking about drinking children's blood completely kind normal. Of shows you is that what he's talking about? On, it? Is, yeah. is that what he says? Because I did, I heard that. I heard that he'd said that. I've commented on this saying it's weird to like Alice in Wonderland. Low, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say to this. So who's who's? Whoa, song is banging. Best cog a log. Cog loves kids. Cog's kind of sussy. He's got a weird obsession with children's toys and accessories. Yeah, got it in one. Cog is. I've got a weird enough. obsession with weird children's obsession toys. With children's toys and accessories. And accessories. Got it in one. Do you mean right. there's a lot of children's toys around because I have a niece who has a lot of toys? But then I have my own figurines and stuff when it comes to the cool <laughs> stuff I like. Like, I still like Marvel stuff and characters from that. You know, I still like the old series of, like, uh, Star Wars and the old characters from that. Yeah. I don't really have too much of an issue with Disney. I'm sure they've got a pedo problem. Like, everywhere's got a fucking pedo problem. Like, your local Walmart's probably got a pedo problem as well. Yeah, there we go. There's right. the clip. His figurines. Gowanson, he's got to keep Whoa. those in good, uh, good stature. There. I don't know what grown-ass man has Alice in Wonderland merchandise from the film. From the cartoon film that's aimed at children. I don't either. Maybe it's those 14 year olds he was fucking, according to his brother. Um, his own brother. His own brother. Let's not forget that came from his own flesh and blood. The right. family like that, who needs enemies? That's right. And uh, that was your brother who said that, Cog. That wasn't something I invented. Your brother came on my show and said, You fucked 14 year olds, right? Like, I mean, what am I And he even to say provided that? receipts, like your own brother. Cog. Yeah, and with like you said, with family like that, who needs enemies? Uh, but uh, he <laughs> told right. a very convincing story. Uh, I have to say, uh, with receipts and details, and you know, it speaks on its own. Like I wasn't there, thank God. <laughs> uh, you know, I couldn't say for sure, but that's your brother saying that. Uh, and then his defense was that happens often in his family. Godwinson, that uh, they throw around pedo. Uh, what a great defense. <laughs> <laughs> It's like maybe you should just stop talking. You lure them in with the Alice in Wonderland merch, and then uh, suddenly you're just DMing a 14 year old. Oh, well, she's Happens probably often. she's probably of age now. If she is over 18, let me. I don't want any piece of that to be clear, but uh, but no, but I mean, call in. Here's a space to tell the story. I guess you know. Yeah. I definitely you can uh, be Alice and enter Wonderland, <laughs> the Wonderland <laughs> of the sector uh, here. Um, <laughs> Now, how does it all end for Cog, do you think? Suicides, an overdose. <laughs> well, wherever he's living now, I noticed that he has to... He thinks I never watch his stream, but sometimes I thumb through it because I know there's some cringe shit. And, of course, I can't watch it, like, just nonstop. Because it's, it's impossible yeah. to watch, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredibly boring. But sometimes I'll thumb through there. And um, he seems to think that I, I never see it, but, um, but I do. And... Um, you know, it's just, I, I don't really know what the appeal of it is. Um, he never has any guests. It's usually just a rage -a -thon about me or whoever's making fun of him that day. Um, he just sits there and watches my show. And, of course, we watch other people's stuff, right? But it's, you know, we mix it up and we're covering live stuff and we have guests and we have debates and you never know what's going to happen on the kill stream, but you always know what's going to happen on COG Live. Yeah. And I, I just don't see the appeal of that, Gawinson. No. No, I mean, I, I don't think there is an appeal. That's why he has 50 live viewers, so. Yeah, uh, tough. It's, it's pretty brutal. Handsome Crayon says. But I guess, I mean, he has to keep going. He has to keep going well, until the deep. very bitter end. He's in too deep now. Uh, Handsome Crayon says, for two, he says, the 14-year-old is probably family, too. Oh, God, I don't even want to. Oh, fuck. I don't even want to. You know what? I wouldn't put it past him. I really wouldn't. <laughs> Neither would I. Um, Porcelain says his apartment looked like the fat guys. <laughs> 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 I know that reference. The fat guy from Seven's apartment was cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, we'll see what happens. Pretty much uh, everybody's shitting on Cog. I, I don't think uh, he's on the right trajectory. Um, but maybe it is the right trajectory, uh, now that I think about it. Um, I mean, you, know, you know you're on the right side of history when Cog's in his place still, doing doing the same old shit. That's when you know you're on the right side. The moment Cog's on your side, it's probably time to just sort of duck and weave out of there. Well, wherever he's living is obviously not his place, because if you noticed, uh, like I said when I was skipping through, he, he leaves the stream now to smoke. 
uh, and he smoked marijuana on stream, which to be yes. fair, I've done before, but he smokes a lot of marijuana. This on the guy stream. is smoking like four joints a show, I think, at least. At least. And now he stops his show and leaves the desk to go smoke. So obviously wherever he's staying has a no smoking policy and he has to go outside because there would be no other reason to do that. You know what I'm now, I know he's got this refugee Muslim wife and what they've just announced is they're going to put them on barges. Um, in dock around England. So I imagine Cog's living on a barge in dock around England with his Muslim wife. That's why he has to step outside on the balcony to smoke. Also, as a Brit, Tough. how embarrassing is it, is it to just have the American flag back there? Like he's... I don't understand it. Like I really don't... Because all Cog's memories of America are is him flying out to be with a, uh, a single mom who cocks him That's and, and sends him back. That is his memory of, of America. So I don't understand why he glorifies it. I don't get that. Also, but... every emblem of America that he looks at, you, other <laughs> things, he just hates and despises. So I don't understand why he keeps that flag there. I don't get it at all. And it's very strange. I mean, there's a lot to be proud of to be a Brit. Like, what what are you doing? What is this American LARP that he has? I mean, Cobb's got more, great, more things to be grateful of being English than even I do. Well, the yeah. fact is the taxpayer have gilded this man's life so thoroughly and completely. He's not had to work a job. He's not had to get up off his ass. He's not even had. You know how much Cog pays in rent? He pays fifty pounds a week in rent. That blew my. That mind. isn't even. That's like uh, the most nominal amount of money the government could charge him for rent that he doesn't have to pay. That the government takes off him through their own money. So I mean, Cog has got a lot to be proud of England for. And I just don't get it. But if you know his history, he's always wanted to be an American, uh, Godwinson. And that's kind of like an obsession of his. Of course, he never can be. Uh, but he thought he was going to be with that Alenska chick. And he was going to yeah. marry her and all this and that. And he got cut. Get the visa. Dumped. Get the green card. Yeah, yeah, that was his plan. That was his plan. And instead, he got cucked and dumped, which has happened to him a lot, actually. Yeah. Uh, Cog the cuck. Cog the cuck. Well, but at least he's married now, apparently. At least he's married to some... Uh... I think she's Punjabi or something. I, I don't know. Now, is this, he seems happy in is that Is this legitimate? Because I've never seen her, and I've heard so many people say that. Uh, I believe it, though. Um, but he, I mean, I believe it 110%. I imagine that's how pathetic his life currently is. Um, but he's been taking her to Legoland, and I guess they've been having good times. You know? Now, what I, is I the Lego thing? Because I missed that. Saying. I missed that. Well, I saw that. I saw some DMs where he was talking about buying knockoff Lego products. By the way, yeah, uh, fake, Lego, <laughs> fake Legos. I was like, damn, <laughs> how bad can it get? Like, you can't even spring for the legitimate Lego product. He's buying knock, and then he was given some advice on where to buy knockoff Legos, and yeah, um, I didn't even know that existed, actually. Um, um, but but I, I guess he's happy in the situation he's in. Uh, but I imagine she doesn't understand a word he's saying, and <laughs> he doesn't understand a word she's saying either. So, you know. <laughs> but that's true, by the way. Knock off Legos. That's absolutely true. I'm not making that up at all. And I was just astonished first that he was asking and then second that those existed i mean i guess i should have known uh but i was like what i didn't know there was a huge like knockoff lego market and those dms he's weirdly technical about this lego isn't he yeah Just, uh, uh, yeah a lot of eccentricities in cog i didn't realize well i think that fits in with his autism uh he's extremely autistic uh and uh, i don't well, remember call when his him, brother but... came on and said like he is autistic he was special needs in school and he can't read you know, his own brother. His own brother lit him up, actually, on that on that kill stream appearance. Uh, and yeah, he has real real problems focusing. If you've ever seen him on Twitter, he's like, just and you know, I've quote tweeted people here and there, but you stop quote tweeting because you can't follow it, right? Like it's like, okay, well, stop quote tweeting because you can't understand what's going on. And he's like quote tweeting these guys with like 30 followers and he's in this long ass argument with them and it's impossible Punished to follow. Punished for food Here, sent $3, <laughs> you know what they say. Shit in the streets, That's whore true. between the sheets. Far first says, you know what they say. Shit in the streets, whore between the sheets. Uh, so yeah, that does fit Cog there. Uh, but we'll check. <laughs> we'll check in on him as the situation continues. I'm sure he'll do uh, an hour on this. Actually, I was skimming through his stream last night, and he had my comment where I, was, I just mentioned him for like five minutes, and then I said, "Oh, he'll probably do an hour on that." And then he, then he goes, "Well, I've only been watching. I've only been talking about this for thirty minutes." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, well, 
<laughs> that wasn't too far off. And then Just he continued ima- talking about being his like. Imagine being his fresh off the boat wife. She has no idea what country she's in, what what language they're speaking, and he's just got this obsession with you. You're on the screen twenty four seven, and she has no comprehension of what you've done. Or how... can you imagine being how confused that poor wife is? Well, she Terrified. thought she was going to England, you know, English gentleman, and uh, you know, maybe this is gonna be a nice fit. And she rolls up into the fucking refugee camp or wherever the fuck he lives. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, oh, okay, Cog already lives in the refugee camp. <laughs> yeah, Cog's already there. It's not been a step up. If anything, it's been a step down from fucking India or whatever the fuck she's from. Uh, you know what's Pakistan. funny? I actually went to England a couple times, and one of the hotels I was gonna stay in once. Uh, they had it packed full of refugees, and I ended up making them refund me. And I, I rented another hotel. I was like, I'm not staying here. Yeah. There was refugees loitering all about and like looking kind of menacing. And I was with my uh, then girlfriend. She later became my wife. And of course, she was Pakistani uh, descent, but she didn't want to be there either. She's like, yeah, What the fuck? Right. Like, this is creepy. Like, can we get out of here? And Username we did. Uh, Send $3 Ralph. Play. Your outro uh, last night was epic. Thank you. Probably a top five moment for me personally in the year I've been listening to you. Yeah, the outro. But what a lineup today. Thank you. Honestly, the show is just winning. Godwinson, hey. The show is winning, and they said Godwinson, hey. Um, But yeah, the the refugee problem, I guess Cog fits in well uh, with those guys. But I was like, I can't stay here. Like, this is. And they did refund me to their credit. But uh, on the hotel, it was like this nice looking, like old style hotel. And then I got there. It was literally packed to the brim with refugees. And that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part, they were loitering about and like, you know, like freaking out my girlfriend and stuff, like acting all crazy. Uh, so we did get out of there. I think we went to Gatwick, actually, if I recall, and well, stayed there. I mean, where, where other people are menaced and see a way out, Cog sees a way in and sees a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.